where should I go next? Parma. We can go to Italy. I was hoping for Austria. Actually, Verona's quite good because then from there I can drive up to Innsbruck and then drive back in. Always handy when I can pick up the trailer from where I currently am. Right, and this time we will take a different route out of the city because we're going south. Been a while since we've been down to Italy. Keep left. Is that one that we managed to get pretty much to 100%? I can't remember. Probably not, <laughs> to be honest. Probably not. And yeah, from Verona, we should then be able to drive up to Innsbruck. And from there, make our way back into Switzerland. I would be honestly tempted to take a delivery that isn't just to Zurich, though, and actually take a delivery to Bern instead. Just because it'll be a little bit more different. We've just been to and from Geneva twice now. Keep left. Zurich, sorry, not Geneva. Geneva's the other one that I should be trying to go to. I'm sure we'll find good opportunities to go to them later anyway, though. We should just do a... just an exploration... stream slash video... where I don't necessarily bother with taking trailers and doing deliveries, and instead I just drive and explore. I just feel that taking deliveries gives a little bit more focus to the session. It is a little bit more what the game's about, after all. Newton. <laughs> Keep left. Would love to get back to Switzerland one day. It's been twenty years. <laughs> 20 years? 30 years. Oh. Oh dear. I just had a pop-up saying that my game ready driver is ready to update. No, I... That just tends to break things. <laughs> Until I get a game that demands that I upgrade my graphics drivers, a lot of the time I'll just skip. It's like, yeah, no. I think the last time I updated my graphics drivers was so I could play Diablo 4. <laughs> what a waste of time that was. Maybe I should turn some of the settings down, I don't know. <laughs> it's just every now and then, it just gets stuttering. That way to chur. 
San Bernardino. Oh, I would. No, they wouldn't have. I was just thinking there's like the San Bernardino Pass and stuff. It, they wouldn't have put in one of the twisty mountain pass roads as something you could drive over in a truck, surely. <laughs> Maybe one of the hidden roads? I don't know. I also don't think they've got any of like the Italian lakes areas, but then again, I don't really see big trucks fitting in there, so kind of justified. I do wish that they did have like a small vehicle option. Just let me get a pickup or a little box truck. I was kind of hoping with the fact that they changed it from it used to be 18 wheels of steel franchise. And when they shifted to, you know, Euro Truck Simulator, okay, this is gorgeous through here to be fair. I don't really get to stop and enjoy the beauty. You don't get to go on a nice little road and stop by the side of the lake or anything. Um, I had kind of hoped with it being Euro Truck Simulator. It's like, okay, there's lots of different types of truck that aren't big 18 wheelers. Could could we maybe could we maybe have smaller vehicles as well? Oh great, we're getting backed up from the border crossing into the tunnel. That's not great. <laughs> I'm fairly sure I want to be in the right hand lane. Let's go inside. Yep, truck's off to the right. It's only one lane. Rude. Yes, this is not the big border. Give me a sec. Let's just put that to low. Go back. Let it reload. Oh hey! There's no traffic. Speedrun trick. <laughs> In-game time runs do not include menuing time. And regardless, even in an RTA run, it can sometimes be worth it. Just a little hack there, life hack, make the traffic disappear. Why is it still saying everything is in order? There we go, <laughs> it got a little bit stuck. Telepass! Finally, we get the toll booths that we can just drive straight through. Oh no, they still have a barrier on these ones, that's right. You don't have to stop and pay, but they do still have a barrier. I think it's the ones in Norway or something that you can just drive straight through. <laughs> they don't force you to stop at all. And Turkey too, I think. Uh, am I going straight ahead here? Yes. <laughs> My voice GPS is broken. It seems as part of the minimap messing up. Oh, now it's showing me. Oh, okay. No, no, it's now giving me the distance again. But he still didn't tell me to keep left or anything. Not that I've necessarily listened, to be fair. Maybe he's just giving me the silent treatment. Oh, looks like I just nicked the truck and, of course makes him completely stop instead of keeping on driving. Oh, now I'm getting tired apparently. I should be able to get there before I need to stop, right? 121, 2 hours 48, yeah, well... The 2 hours 48 is based on going 80 and I will be going 90 for most of it. We just need to try and cut some corners, dive between lanes.
two hours three. 38 minutes. Yeah, see, having to slow down. Ooh, here it Having to slow down for the toll booths is really punishing because they're not in a time dilation zone or anything, which they probably should be. That's the thing is any time that you're in the open road areas that you have to slow down. So toll booths, border crossings, uh, gas stations, they should all be at the urban scale of the like 20 seconds is one in game minute instead. Viewpoints as well because otherwise it's really bad they have the planes coming in way too downward facing never mind um yeah it's really punishing that you just have to slow down for the toll booth and like half an hour passes <laughs> it seems because of how long it takes especially if there's a queue if there's multiple cars trying to go through the same gate and you have to wait like at the border crossing then uh, yeah you you lose a lot of time doing that. Apparently 16 minutes away now. But how long is it going to take just sitting here? Well, this we're already in the... Nope, we're not in the dilation zone. So it took, takes like 5 minutes just to drive through a toll booth. Tired. I know. <laughs> Not just in the game either. Turn right. There is actually a hotel here, so that's nice. We can stay in relative luxury. One thing's for sure, we're definitely not taking a lot of time to park the trailer. <laughs> he can just get it in the easiest possible place. We will at least deliver it. We won't just dump it at the entrance. That's more of a viable quick job strategy. Because <laughs> then you don't need to worry about being in your way. Job number four done. Now, are there any freight market jobs to Innsbruck? No. Is there external contract jobs up to Innsbruck? Yeah, I'd be limited to 90, but that's kind of fine, to be honest. It's not like I'd be going super fast anyway. Now, there's Klagenfurt, but no Innsbruck. That's interesting. Oh, well, I mean, we could do Salzburg as well if I wanted to, I guess. But I think I would rather just drive. So it's an early morning run up the road, but it kind of doesn't matter because I don't like driving at night too much because you don't see much when you're in the third person view. But when you're just in the truck, you don't get a very good view outside anyway. You get this. This is it. You can't even adjust the zoom, I don't think. Or well, you can zoom out slightly, but not far. So, you're better off staying in the cab when it's just the truck anyway.
Yes, the barrier stayed up. <laughs> Always good to be able to sneak through after someone else. There's a viewpoint up here. I'm guessing I can only get there from the other side, though. That's the other thing is, Austria got reworked. It didn't get a similar sort of, uh... Oh, I was meant to go that way. Oh, well, too bad. There's nothing stopping me going this way. Ah, uh, there was a little bit that I needed to discover, though. Um, yes, Austria got a rework. It didn't get a community event um, to inspire us to explore it, so we didn't. Um, I haven't been back there yet. <laughs> managed to skip through there. Alright, and with as a lovely sunrise, we come into Innsbruck for our next delivery. Hopefully we'll get something that crosses back into Switzerland, whether it's revisiting Zurich for the umpteenth time, <laughs> or whether we can go a little bit further and pop down to Bern. Good driving. 